Okay guys, today's video is about lines per beat. So lines per beat means how many lines you have on your actual block. Now this does affect the, your groove. You can get all kinds of grooves, like in Logic, or Logic Pro or other DAOs where you've got different quantize levels. Lines per beat gives you a similar effect to quantize, but in my opinion, has its own unique edge. So without further ado, let me give you a quick demo of a couple of beats, one in LPB4 and another in LPB8. So you can see the difference in the actual grooves. So let's get into it. Okay, so you probably heard that cool, interesting stagger effect in the middle, right? So, as I said, guys, stay tuned to this video because at the end I'm going to show you exactly how I did that in uh, my song. And it's a really, really cool effect to use, right? If you want to do some interesting edits and, you know, take the boredom out of a, a boring day. Right, so, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you lines per beat at 8. Now have a listen to this. Right, so as you see there, that's again with the stagger, right? Now, let me give you the full loop that I've got programmed here. Okay, so those uh, time stretches of, uh, were done in Tal Sampler, by the way. Oh, comment down below if you want to see a video on how I did that. Also, comment down below and let me know what VSTs you use for manipulating your beats. Let's have a little discussion in the comments. Uh, guys, smash the like button. A lot of you guys who watch these videos are not actually subscribed. Please smash the like button and subscribe. You'll be helping the channel out mega, mega time. And you'll also be giving me signals as well. Um as to what videos you want to see me do next so let's get into the next uh part of this video with the phrases now and using the lpbs yeah uh that can bring a whole new level to it because on here as you can see i've created four phrases now these phrases this is how i did those edits in the middle so that's one phrase another phrase Another phrase. Now they're all the same phrase, right? But they're all copied and put onto different keys here, right? So as you can see, what you do is you, on the as standard, right? Your keys are going to be programmed. They're going to be set to program. You'd have to set it to key map, and you drag and drop your. Uh, different phrases here. Now I'm going to just make one quickly and show you what I mean. So I'll go duplicate and here now you press the enter key on your keyboard to hear it or you press you press play at your keyboard as well. Yeah, I don't have a keyboard so here at the moment it's on the other computer. So you you play your your pattern. You can add kick drums, whatever you want to it. So let's say for example um, I wanted to add some snares or whatever the case may be. Yeah, I would just play the snares in here as you would. Yeah, same as edit in normal. So let me just put some C sharps in there and see what happens. Right, C sharps, press that. Oh, mind you, sorry, my bad. It's on C sharp three, so I'm gonna do that. There you go. There you go, oh, I've got it now. Yeah, so I do something like that. Let's suppose I do, I'm going to get two snares. Right, so let's do something crazy. So I'm, I'm going to go one, two, 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 one, two. Now, play that. Now, check that out, right? Now, let me play that at different LPBs now and see what you get, right? And then when you find one you like, yeah, you just add it to the key groups. So you're making like these key groups of all mad LPB stuff. Um, now, 
I've got a comb filter effect on this, which is giving it that kind of metally effect, right? Um, I can show you that in another tutorial, right? So now, as you notice, when the LPBs are copied, you can't, ch sorry, when the phrases are copied, you can't change the LPBs there, yeah? So you've got to move it to a key first. This is important. Once you move the phrase to the key, you've got phrase six, and you can span it on what, how many keys you want. You can experiment as well. You get some cool effects when they're kind of like on multiple keys. Uh, but for now, we're just going to keep it raw like that, yeah? Now, when you play this now, change the LPBs. Look, you, look at the effect you can get. So I like that kind of triplet e effect, right? So now, when we go to here now, back into the, the drums, right, that's the cut-up breaks. Move it up an octave. Now, let's run back to here. Chuck that in real quick. Man, that's just... You, you get the drift, man. You get the drift. Right, so... Oh, Control Z. I'm not a PC man, but I'm doing my tutorials on a PC. It's a lot easier for some reason to just record screen on PC. Right, let's just chuck that at the end there for the sake of it. Delete that. Let's just see what we get. Right, we've got a bit of a weird bass loop going on there. I've just completely ignored that through the whole video. Uh, but yeah. Let's just see what's causing that loop over. It might be this something here. I don't know. But uh, yeah. All right. Instead of that, let's put the snare that we just made in there. Sort of went, oh, we've got a double there. That's why. Right, look, two in a row. Now that sounded a little bit messy, but with some time and experimentation, you could get something sick there. Put that back there. Yeah. Right, guys, I hope you like that uh, LP Lines Per Beat demo, guys, as promised. There you have it. I hope you liked it. Enjoy. Please like, share, subscribe. Peace out. Later.